Okay, everybody, I'm going to go through my cat uh, compactor that the toy is made by Bruder that I have RC converted. Uh, there's going to be some little short videos. I'm going to show some of the assembly and whatnot and a few of the bits and pieces, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Just a little short video. I got my servo mounted in there real nicely. And then the rear axle, one of the pins will go where that pivots, be right there. And I'll put another piece right here. And the axle will oscillate right there. Um, I'm using gear motors again in that application. These are actually the weaker ones that I put in my 574. Um, I figured they should be more than adequate to drive two tires and I'm going to have one of them driving the drum as well. Um, the drum will be driven this way. And this will be bolted to the side. And I will be getting a sling ring. If nobody knows what a sling ring is, go and uh, check it out. And that will be on the other side opposite the motor. So that the drum can spin. And it's... A sling ring is basically like a brush holder, a rotary brush holder, and I will mount it here so that the wires can sit still here, and the brush holder will create the conductivity to go to the motor. That's what I'm going to do, and that is the way I'm going to do it, let's put it that way. But i got to wait for that to come before I get too crazy about cutting and, and figuring out what's going there. But... Uh, the uh, steering is, uh, I've got it on a little servo tester. And it works really well. That is a 25 kg servo. So it's got plenty of power. And I made some linkages and I used some of the stock components and drilled and put some bolts through and uh, bushings and whatnot to uh, make it a little more sturdy. So, got a few more bolts I want to put in here and there, and we'll get there. But that's my progress so far this uh, Saturday. Well, I'm doing a little test tonight. I uh, bought a bunch of these Turnigy uh, ESCs. Little did I realize they're only good for one direction and one direction only. But, hey, I found a home for one of them. I'm just doing a test tonight just to see how it works. Um, I've got it set on the throttle on the uh, Flysky T6. And Looks great for that. I'm happy for that. At least I found a use for it. Bought a bunch of them and... Yep, found a home for it. My theory will work. Going to do a little test here on the vibration on the compactor roller. I had some pictures taken there. They're in this post, so... Vibrate so good might make my wife happy. <laughs> well, I'm going to do a little video of the blade lift operation on the end up using a Octronics thirty millimeter. Um, linear actuator for the left and I custom made some brackets for it to bolt to the front works just great okay got my sling ring today off Amazon a four wire 15 amp sling ring um, had to take a couple of 5 8 pillow block bearings from Servo City 
and I made a, a bushing to go in between them and a couple of washers to shim out the space that I need to bolt this to the side of the compactor. But this is how it works. I'm holding the wires in the outer bearing. That's how it works. These wires can go right up inside the frame and not worry about uh, getting wound up in a pile. So I'll wire two of these two of these leads to the traction motor for the drum and two of the wires to the vibration motor. And then those will get wired to an ESC and the others will both will actually get wired to an ESC. But yeah, it's probably plenty heavy. I probably should have went with a lighter one. These wires are pretty heavy, but anyway. Go big or go home. Okay, we're gonna do a little test here. Test the rotation of the motor. The rotation of the motor. We'll get the vibration test. And we'll see if we can uh, actually test both at the same time. I need to do a little, just doing some little hot wire in here. Okay, so we got rotation. And we got rotation and vibration. There we go. Rotary swing ring is a success. Well, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Here is my Bruder Cat Compactor, Soil Compactor conversion um, we have uh, I have it bound to a t6 fly sky radio and we have a 30 millimeter linear actuator doing the lift we have a 25 kg gear servo doing the steering. We have a Hobby Wing 1060 ESC that is running the traction. There are 300 RPM motors, one that is driving the drum and one on each rear wheel. That, um, the tires are the same diameter as the drum so I didn't have to worry about uh, taking percentages and whatnot of one thing versus another. Now, I do have the drum vibration on a dial on the radio, so I can, and I'm powering that little 25 millimeter motor with a Turnigy 30 amp ESC. So I can turn that down and all the way off. Now I did add lights to it, and unfortunately somewhere, and I test all my lights before I install them, the one on the left top doesn't work now, <laughs> but I got tail lights and rear work lights on it. Um, yeah, just, it happens. I may or may not go in and replace it. I, to be honest with you, in true construction form, not all lights are working on everything anyway. 
So I might just leave it the way it is. But I can go slow if I want. I can go fast. Um, the rear tires that I ended up going with are the mil spec RC four wheel drive 1.9s. Uh, and I left the factory foams in them um, to give them a little more traction. A lot better than the factory plastic brooder tires. Anyway, um, I'm going to go kind of into the inside of the compartment. Okay, I left the factory. There used to be a latch that would hold that, but the back latch is still working. And it just slides into here. Mounted the E, the receiver right here. I am powering it with a 2200 Ovonic uh, 3S LiPo battery. And you can kind of see everything is kind of tucked down in there. But I am extremely happy with this. Not bad for about a week long project. Yeah, take and tuck the battery back in here. Tuck the battery lead down in there. Hard part is always getting all this stuff to fit down in here nicely. And I've taken and zip tied most of the wiring and whatnot. And there, there she is. My Brooder Cat Compactor is done. Well, hopefully uh, everybody kind of enjoyed that little short run video. Um, I am hoping to get this all posted up on YouTube and here. And uh, what we will do is hopefully, if I find time in the description box below the YouTube video, I will try to post links to parts and places that I bought the parts to do this. Um, it is not necessarily, um, the problem with posting links is you end up with stuff that is out of stock and then the links don't work. Uh, some of the stuff come off eBay, some of it's from Servo City, some of it is uh, Amazon, I mean all over the place. I buy my parts everywhere I can find bits and pieces nowadays. And, uh, it is what it is, people. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed.